Uh, my name is Robert Kimball, Executive Director of the Dubuque Dream Center. Uh, and so can you tell me a little bit about uh, the grant application and kind of uh, what the Dream Center is, is hoping to, to do in terms of expanding its programming? Yeah, we're applying for a 21st century grant um, in partnership with the Dubuque schools and we're looking to expand our services to youth K through 5th grade. Uh, and so uh, what grade levels uh, schools would, uh, would that include? Primarily right now it will be Fulton and Prescott for the grant will still uh, serve all the Title I schools and still looking to serve um, any kid um, that can use our services in the Dubuque community. But for the grant, the focus is um, Fulton and Prescott. And so how would those uh, grant funds be used? What, uh, what are some additional things that you'd be able to do with that funding? We'll be able to hire district teachers part-time to be able to um, help at the Dream Center and our academic center um, and kind of continue some of the improvement uh, plans for kids that are um, not reading at grade level um, that they are implementing at the schools will continue it at the Dream Center and also some of those teachers if they have a background in some um, some of our activities they can also help coach and work with the kids in our activities here. Right. Um, and uh, lastly, um, so what, what is the future of for the Dream Center? What's, uh, what's kind of the short-term goals uh, for, for this coming year? Short-term goal is to try to um, establish uh, ourselves and sustain the services we're providing right now with our 90 to 100 kids. So that's short-term, just trying to sustain our operations through grants or funding and donations. And then long-term is to kind of expand Youth Serve. we got a waiting list um, on an average of 20 to 25 kids and we want to be able to serve more kids.